global seafood consumption has more than doubled in the past 50 years. To meet this rising demand and take some of the pressure off marine ecosystems, a new high-tech method of making seafood from fish cells is being born that brings together cellular biology, 3D bioprinting, and food science. To get a better understanding of how it works, I paid a visit to Blue Nalu, one of the few companies that's pushing the development of this groundbreaking technology. Just to be clear, I'm not talking about a plant-based flavor approximation like Beyond Meat or Impossible Burgers. Blue Nalu is growing the real thing using a process they call cellular aquaculture. And they're doing it without genetic modification. What we call cellular aquaculture is actually a new way to manufacture seafood directly from fish cells. That is always a, a big question people have. How do you actually do that? In our case, we really have decided to go all natural. We want a process that mimics what happens in a fish when it grows from small to big. We replicate that basically in our bioreactors. To grow fish in a dish, uh, first you have to start with the cells. So we take a small chunk of muscle from the species of interest. From that muscle, we can isolate the different cell types. We isolate these cells, put them in a nutrient uh, solution, and then with the right conditions, they do exactly the same thing that, as they would do in the fish, uh, only without the restrictions of a fish body. The greatest challenge for myself and also this entire category is this has never been done before. Growing cells in a lab is nothing new. It's the way that Blue Nalu grows and structures their fish products that makes them pioneers in this field. Most labs that grow cells use a growth medium called FBS, which stands for fetal bovine serum. FBS is made from the blood of unborn calves. This nutrient-rich solution has everything that cells need to grow, but understandably, it isn't the kind of surf and turf that purveyors of sustainable seafood would like to be associated with. That's why Blue Nalu has developed its very own animal-free serum by replacing the key components of FBS with plant-based alternatives. So rest assured, at Blue Nalu, the fish cells eat vegetarian. But getting the cells to grow is just the first step. They won't turn into a fish fillet by themselves. In the first place, we, we try to make a piece of fish. Uh, we have decided that's, that's the thing uh, people want to see. One of Blue Nalu's goals is to create uh, structures of the seafood products as similar to nature as possible. In our case, we will grow all the cells we need for a fish fillet and then use a 3D printing approach to put it all back together. Right now, we're focusing on fin fish. So for example, the mahi, tuna, red snapper, and then eventually we'll also look at uh, mollusks and like crabs, lobsters, and all other seafood products. Blue Nalu isn't the only company working in the ever-expanding field of cell-based meats. According to a recent report from the Good Food Institute, more than 25 cell-based meat companies have already been announced. Only six of those companies are working on cellular seafood, and of those, only a few have held public tastings. Back in June, San Francisco-based company Wildtype held a tasting of its cellular salmon, including poke, ceviche, and sushi rolls. You'll notice all those dishes involve uncooked salmon because, at this point, Wildtype salmon can't be heated past 212 degrees Fahrenheit or it begins to flake and fall apart. Singapore-based Shiok Meats held a public tasting of its cell-based shrimp dumplings back in March. The dumplings cost thousands of dollars to produce, and the only people to get a taste were advisors of the company. Blue Nalu hasn't had any public taste tests quite yet, but they have had a few taste tests behind closed doors. The overall consensus is that we already have the fishy taste, but we need to optimize the texture. Uh, one has to say that right now we are only concentrating on growing the cells. You know, a fish eats other fish or crustaceans and that influences the taste. So we will analyze uh, you know, what the composition is and uh, will then complement the growth media with you know, other feed components that then would you know, give you the taste you want. We do not get excited by doing small-scale tests. Blue Nile's strategy is really about scale production, being the first to market in large volume. I would say in three years, in the first consumers should be able to get a taste. With the world's appetite for seafood increasing, people are turning to imports and harmful fishing practices to meet the demand. According to Global Fishing Watch, illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing accounts for 20% of the global catch. And bycatch, unwanted fish and other marine species, could account for as much as 40% of the global catch. This is not just hurting marine ecosystems, it's also hurting the fishing industry's bottom line. 
According to a 2017 World Bank Group report, fishing less and fishing better could generate an additional $83 billion for the fisheries sector. We recognize that many economies rely on fishing as perhaps a sole source of income for many of their residents. We're all about the fact that if all three of us can work together, wild caught farm raised and our cellular agriculture process, we hope we can feed the world in years ahead. If you buy fish, actually you have to look at where does it come from, is it on the fish list, right? So I, I think I would say you have to worry more about the, the wild caught fish than, than our products. If you're still not sure how you feel about cell-based seafood, it's understandable. Some of the science is still kept under wraps to maintain a competitive edge. It'll be years before I get the answers to all the questions I have now. We'll have to wait and see how it's going to be labeled in stores, how it tastes, and whether anyone will be crazy enough to attempt some sort of hybrid species sashimi. For now, I'm glad that the desire to be kinder to our oceans and the creatures that inhabit them is driving innovation in this emerging industry. What do you think of cellular seafood? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time, What the Fam.